Before starting testing with Fuelstat, adhere to internal policies on using PPE when handling fuel. Nitrile gloves and safety eyewear are generally recommended. Have a clean, clear workspace and some paper towels on hand. You are ready to start. Do not open test up until you have sample ready and are ready to test. Each kit contains one test plate, a syringe with extraction tube, test bottle, an alcohol wipe and instructions. These instructions are available in multiple languages. Always take fuel sample from the bottom of the tank. It is important that sample points and sampling equipment are clean and to use a new sample container for each test to help minimize risk of cross-contamination. When cleaning a sample point or if required to reuse a container, make sure they are thoroughly cleaned before use with a 70% alcohol wipe or equivalent and leave to dry. HDPE containers are often favoured for use with fuel samples, but to clearly show each step of the process in this video, we will be using clear plastic containers and a fuel substitute. Take a 1 litre sample of fuel, swirl the fuel in the container, then leave the sample to settle for 12 to 15 minutes. The fuel step test can be conducted with a free water phase sample, minimal free water and fuel phase sample, or fuel phase only sample. It is always advisable to conduct fuel stat tests as soon as sample has settled. It is always better for more accurate results to test the free water phase if possible through a generous water sample. Push the extraction tube onto the end of the syringe as shown, then use syringe to extract 15 milliliters of free water from a fuel water sample. Fill to bottom water line of test bottle. Where there is only minimal free water evident, do not worry if water sample will not reach bottom water line. Transfer the free water that can be seen into the test bottle. Then reinsert the syringe to extract fuel from near the bottom of the sample to top up the test bottle to the top fuel line. You will require approximately 150 milliliters of fuel, which is six full syringe extractions. If no free water is evident in sample, just extract 150 milliliters of fuel from near the bottom of the sample to fill the test bottle to the top fuel line. Now, tighten the dropper cap onto the test bottle and shake for five seconds. Invert test bottle 45 degrees for approximately 90 seconds to allow the blue fluid to settle out in the shoulder of the bottle. Please note that for a free water phase only test, the blue fluid will not separate out. Now fully invert the bottle and keep the bottle inverted at all times. To ensure that no fuel is trapped in the nozzle of the test bottle, place four drops onto a tissue to help ensure that only the blue liquid is transferred onto the fuel stat test plate. Do not turn the bottle from pointing down to pointing up until the test is completed. If you do turn bottle over by mistake, then repeat the previous steps, shaking the test bottle once more, inverting 45 degrees to let blue fluid settle again, and place four drops onto a tissue before continuing. Place four drops into each well. It is important to never let any fluid enter the viewing panes. This may ruin the test. Wait 10 to 15 minutes. It is best not to touch the test during this time. This is the control line, C. This is the test line, T. This side is the low contamination indicators, L. This side is the high contamination indicators, H. Successful tests must have a control line in all windows. Read results within 15 to 30 minutes after placing sample fluid into sample wells. Results are determined by either lines forming or being absent on the low side or on both low and high. 
follow the simple traffic light system. All 12 lines forming is green. This is negative contamination. Any individual missing test T lines on the low side is amber. This is a moderate contamination. If there are two or more missing test T lines on the low side, then the combined amount of contamination present equates to a heavy contamination. Any missing test T lines on the high side is red. This is a heavy contamination. This is in line with IATA and JIG guidelines. It does not matter if some lines are fainter. A line means no, low or high contamination. If any red control line C has not formed, or is blue, the test is invalid. To summarize, all 12 lines means green, negative. Individual lines missing on low side mean amber, moderate. Any lines missing on high side or two or more lines missing on low side means red, heavy. Always remember help is at hand. Email info at canidia.com. Thank you.